From his obsessive compulsive disorder to ordering 350 gallons of a specific ice cream. Stay tuned to number one to find out the most bizarre facts about Howard Hughes. Number 10. Germaphobe Howard Hughes is infamous for his aversion to germs, but few people truly realize exactly what lengths the eccentric millionaire went to in order to avoid contact with bacteria. Hughes had been cautious of infection ever since he was a child, but the more he grew, the more intense his phobia became. As an adult, he was, shall we say, peculiar. But by the time his film career fully kicked in, this brilliant mind was wearing tissue boxes for shoes, had his own personal fly swanning assistant so he didn't have to touch flies, and kept a four foot personal bubble to protect himself from the contamination of others. Not surprisingly, this included his wives. You see, Mr. Hughes had quite a reputation with the ladies and he was well known for seducing many of the actresses in Hollywood, but he barely spoke to his wives. Well, no more than a few minutes a day. They slept in separate rooms and even had their own fridges so he couldn't be contaminated by their outside germs. That sounds like a solid relationship. Number 9. A Peculiar Individual Every good director has their quirks. To make millions in movies requires passion, drive, and the kind of attention to detail that the average person simply cannot maintain. Directors are known for being hot-headed, obsessive, and particular about every detail of the movies they make. When it came to this department, Howard Hughes took the cake and he ate it too. This genius but unconventional man had a pretty severe case of obsessive compulsive disorder. Some of us might joke around about being OCD when a brick in the sidewalk doesn't line up just right or one of our pictures on the wall are a little bit crooked, but the reality of this disorder can be far more debilitating than people realize. Ticks can start small and can flare quickly into full-blown mental necessities just to cope with the day. Howard Hughes was obsessed with order and his adult life was ruled by certain routines. In order to even function, he watched the same movie on repeat every day, organized his food by size before he ate it, if he could even eat it, and would get fixated on certain food items for months or even years at a time. Number 8. The Daredevil An obsessive compulsive germaphobe certainly doesn't sound like the kind of guy you'd expect to have a danger-seeking tendency, but Mr. Hughes was, if nothing else, an intense personality. He liked to go fast and even owned his own aviation and aerospace companies that were worth billions. He had his first flying lesson when he was 14 years old and that one fateful moment gave birth to a love for flying. Unfortunately, between that love, car crashes, and a few other incidents, Hughes ended up with some pretty serious injuries. The average person might have one or two, but most likely no concussions in their lifetime. Howard Hughes on the other hand walked away from 14 serious head injuries. 14! Considering the fact that even one concussion can prove fatal, it's a miracle that Hughes lived into his 70s. He spent his later years self-medicating from the resulting chronic pains with drugs and alcohol. It's thought that these injuries could have been the cause of, or at least added to, Howard's mental conditions, ultimately combining with his substance abuse and eventually his demise. Number 7. Quit School Go ahead, tell your parents you're dropping out of school. Tell them you're doing it because you want to be an actor or a director, or maybe you're just looking to pursue modeling. If you're like most of us, then that conversation probably isn't going to go over too well. But before we talk about how this went for Howard Hughes, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on all of the latest videos from Zero to Hero. Technically speaking, Howard Hughes lost his parents at a relatively early age, so they probably never got to hear those actual words from him, and if they'd lived, he might not have decided to pursue directing in the first place. Who knows? What we do know is that Howard quit school at the age of 20, a year after he lost his second parent, in order to move to Hollywood and pursue his dream of making movies. We'll never know what his parents would have had to say about that, but I'd like to think they would have recognized the crazy genius in him and offered their full support. Number 6. Stored Urine in Jars 
Speaking of crazy, there's no denying that Hughes was pretty out there. Whether it was genetic or the result of numerous concussions, Mr. Hughes had his quirks. But it's quite possible that none of them were more odd nor more disgusting than his habit of storing his own urine in jars. Various assistants followed Howard's request of collecting all of his liquid waste. We'll probably never know, and let's face it, we don't want to know, why he felt the need to indulge in this particular compulsion, or why they even accommodated him in the first place. I mean, yeah, talent is as talent does, and Hughes was most definitely a brilliant mind, but that's a little much. He almost could have just been a super talented weirdo if it weren't for this one quirk. But keeping your own urine in a jar? Yeah, that is certifiably insane right there. Number 5. Obsessed with Peas Everybody has a favorite food. For some of us, it's ice cream. Other people like spaghetti. And then there are those who enjoy carrots and kale. Whatever your dietary preferences happen to be, there's a good chance they don't hold a candle to Howard's obsession with peas. Rumor has it that he had them with every or nearly every meal and had to organize them by size before he could eat them. As far as things go on our list, sorting peas probably isn't the weirdest thing you didn't know about Howard Hughes, but it's a clear example of the debilitating nature of his OCD. Imagine grabbing a bowl of peas. now. Imagine, in order to eat them, you had to pull each one out and place it in a carefully calculated system of size. It would take forever. I bet he wasn't exactly a fast eater. Number 4. Iron Man Based on Hughes Okay, so Howard was obsessive, brilliant, kind of manipulative, cautious of certain things, but completely reckless with others, rich, and a killer with the ladies. Sound familiar? Well, it should because that's basically Iron Man. Yep, Stan Lee, the famous father of the multi-billion dollar franchise of Marvel, based his very own millionaire on Howard Hughes. Both are essentially orphans who inherited their vast fortunes but made more money for themselves with their smarts. Both are driven by intense, addictive personalities. They both like attention and both thrive off of a challenge. The two of them even look similar. And let's not forget what Tony's father's name was, Howard Stark. Good old Stan couldn't have been more obvious if he tried. Number 3. The Screen Room Binge As the years wore on, Hugh's ability to function in society began to degrade. He abused drugs, and he grew increasingly reclusive, paranoid, and delusional. Between bipolarism and schizophrenia, he spent most of his time on an emotional roller coaster or trapped in hallucinations. Taking all of that into account, it's hardly surprising that he enjoyed his alone time. After all, doesn't everyone? Except most of us don't lock ourselves in a Hollywood screening room for four months straight, not even coming out to use the bathroom. Then again, he probably had jars of the stuff stacked up in there. During those four months, Howard saw practically no one and binged on movies while he devoured Hershey's chocolate bars and pecans exclusively. Not exactly the healthiest way to live, but then there really isn't anything healthy about choosing not to leave a room for a third of a year. Number 2. Banana Nut Ice Cream Those with peculiarities similar to Howard Hughes can often get stuck on a specific food item and rarely venture outside their culinary comfort zones. Picky Eater doesn't even begin to cover it, and Howard was no different. Aside from peas, he'd latched himself onto various food items for weeks or even months at a time, and he'd throw a serious fit if his needs weren't met. One of the most notable cases involved Baskin Robbins banana nut ice cream. Howard loved the stuff, he couldn't get enough of it, and demanded that it be kept in stock at his hotel for him at all times. Then one day, his assistants went to order a new batch of ice cream before their stores ran out only to discover that Baskin Robbins no longer made that flavor. In a desperate attempt to avoid one of Hughes' legendary tantrums, his staff begged the company to sell them more, and Baskin Robbins agreed, but only if they would buy the entire 350 gallons of it that they made per batch. They literally had to rent a truck and remodel the freezer at the hotel in order to accommodate the massive amounts of frozen dairy. But hey, at least they never ran out again, right? 
Actually, there's a rumor that there's still banana nut ice cream hiding in the freezer somewhere at Howard's Hotel. Number 1. Basically a Mob Boss Howard was tenacious in his pursuit of wealth, and it makes you wonder how he got it all. Along with making movies, he also formed an aviation company, bought a couple of hotels, and purchased a few clubs with ties to various thugs. These purchases put him in the uniquely unsettling position of hanging out with a host of criminal types. With gangs running wild and more petty crime than you could shake a stick at, Howard turned to a man who would later become his best friend and most trusted confidant to protect his investments. Former CIA and FBI agent Robert Mayhew was the man they called in when a situation needed a little out of the box kind of handling. He took care of things quietly, efficiently, and he worked his way up to becoming one of Hughes' personal advisors. The two worked incredibly well together, despite the fact that neither of them ever saw one another face to face. Instead, they always communicated through the use of a phone, a message, or a middleman. I wonder how many hits Howard had Robert commit. What did you think was the quirkiest thing about Howard Hughes? Let us know in the comments below and take care.